Hello, I am Dr. Mugdha Rao, a gynecologist and obstetrician and a clinical reproductive immunologist. We have our centers, Dr. Rao's Center for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, Nagpur, Pune, Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad in India and one international center in Kuwait where along with my husband Dr. Mohan Rao, we treat couples with unexplained pregnancy losses, unexplained IVF failures and unexplained infertility with our patented lymphocyte immunization therapy and other passive immunomodulatory treatments. Today let us discuss the factors determining the success of LIT. Lymphocyte immunization therapy or immulet is an immunological treatment. It is useful for couples with the problem of unexplained repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility. Today we will see how effective this treatment is. The reason for this video is that people frequently ask us, does this therapy have a 100% success rate? The answer is no. Only God can guarantee a 100% success and we are not God. In properly selected and well done therapies followed by individualized passive immunomodulatory protocol, we have an 80% success rate which we have presented in our book titled Lymphocyte Immunization Therapy in Reproductive Failures, A New Horizon and published by Springer and also in our recent paper printed in the American Journal. So let us discuss the factors determining the success of LIT. For any treatment to be effective, it depends on different factors. These factors are, first is proper selection of the couple, qualification and experience of the personnel giving the treatment, use of the correct standardized procedure, doing the procedure at the right well-equipped place, individualization of the treatment, proper and adequate follow-up. So the efficacy of LIT at any place will depend on these factors. The first one is the proper selection of couples. This is the most important factor. We have to get certain immunological investigations done and then select the couple for LIT. These tests are lymphocyte cross match, TNF alpha, endometrial natural killer cells or CD57 cells. If the cross match is negative, that is the lymphocyte antibodies are negative, only then LIT procedure will be beneficial. This is because LIT induces these antibodies also called as blocking antibodies or asymmetric antibodies, which have a protective action on pregnancy. If lymphocyte cross match is positive, LIT has no role. Raised TNF alpha in the blood and the presence of CD57 cells in the endometrium are other indications for giving LIT. So it is this selected subgroup of patients where LIT is beneficial. The second factor affecting the success is the qualification and the experience of the doctor giving the treatment. This is also important. At our center, me, Dr. Mugdha Raut and Dr. Mohan Raut, who are clinical reproductive immunologists, perform the procedure. We have been working in this field for more than 30 years, have presented and published our works internationally. Our book on LIT, as I said before, is the first international book dedicated to the subject which has been recently published and launched. If LIT is done by non-qualified, inexperienced persons, the success is bound to be low. The third factor affecting the success of LIT is use of correct standardized procedure of LIT. This has a tremendous effect on the success rate. Proper blood collection, standardized protocols, optimal cell counts are important aspects of the procedure that decide the success rate. At our centers, we use an established patented protocol of LIT to get the optimal success rate. In the absence of these things, the success rate is bound to be low. 
And the next factor deciding the success rate of LIT is, is the place where the LIT is done. LIT requires a dedicated, well-equipped lab. It is always advisable to get LIT done at a center that is doing dedicated work in reproductive immunology. At such centers, these are not only they are not only experienced doctors in the field of, but the couple is treated for the immunological problem as a whole and not just LIT. The couple is given individualized protocol of the medicine after LIT to achieve the best success rate. It is a known fact that in an institute which is doing dedicated and focused work in one field only, the level of expertise is always higher and the results are better. That is exactly the idea of creating this center of excellence. If LIT is given at a center not dedicated and not working in the field of reproductive immunology, the success is bound to be very low. The next factor deciding the success of LIT is the individualization of the treatment. Depending on the immunological reports, the treatment is individualized. If cross-match test is positive, LIT is not given, but a protocol of immunomodulating medicines can be suggested. The dosages of the medicines are also adjusted for the best possible results. This is possible if the doctors are experienced in the field of reproductive immunology, else the success rate can suffer. And lastly, proper and adequate follow-up is crucial. After the LIT procedure, during the IVF treatment and during pregnancy, we work with the fertility doctor to get the best result for the patient. So, for getting the best success rate out of the LIT treatment, all these factors are important. There are many international studies of the role of LIT in repeated miscarriages that have shown the success rate of LIT from 75 to 85 percent of the couples. At our center, Dr. Rao's Center for Reproductive Immunology, we have presented our data with similar successes in various international conferences. And here one thing I would like to mention is we don't do IVF. The success rate of LIT for cases done at our center is from the inf information which is received from these IVF and fertility centers. So in conclusion, the key to the best success rate of IVF for treating miscarriages is doing LIT for a subgroup of couples selected by the test, LIT done by experienced and qualified doctors using standardized process and the place that is doing dedicated work in the field of reproductive immunology because only focused work leads to excellence. Thank you.